So I don't normally make videos like this. All my videos are normally video technology or motorcycle based. However, I do know a little bit about digital currency and loads of my friends have been asking me about it over the last week, over the last 24 hours. It's gone even more nuts. I was thinking about making the video. Then I walked into the studio today. I hadn't even taken my coat off. I checked my phone and realized that Bitcoin had reached its highest ever value of over 30,000 pounds or over $40,000. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to make the video now, explain exactly what I know about Bitcoin, which isn't loads, but it's probably enough to get you started if you are interested. And if you don't want to get involved and you're just interested in Bitcoin as a general subject, then you might be interested in this video as well. Bitcoin was invented by someone called Yatoshi Nakamoto. However, not really relevant to this video. If you want to learn more about them, check out Wikipedia. Bitcoin started trading in 2009 at around 8 cents per Bitcoin. Then in 2017, it rose to almost $20,000 per Bitcoin. And overnight, lots of millionaires were created. Since Bitcoin reached its peak in 2017, the price has been incredibly volatile. In March 2020, it dropped to an all-time low of $4,000. At this point, a lot of the financial institutions and Bitcoin watchers labeled it as a lost cause. However, since March 2020, Bitcoin has continued to climb and is now at an all time high of £30,000 or $40,000. Yes, Bitcoin had a bit of a shady reputation. In the past, it had been used by criminals for illegal, untraceable transactions. However, in the past few years, it's become more mainstream, cleaned up its act. And also, let's not forget that cash and gold has also been used by criminals. If you hold Bitcoin privately and you lose the computer or the hard drive that holds the key, you've lost it forever. There's absolutely no getting it back. And there are plenty of nightmare stories of people doing that. However, if you go through an exchange, this can't happen. The exchange holds the Bitcoin for you. Yes, you can buy things with Bitcoin and there are retailers who accept it as a payment method. However, given how much it has risen recently, most people are of the opinion that it's a better investment vehicle than it is currency. You can buy, sell and hold Bitcoin privately. However, the easiest way to get started as a beginner is to use an exchange. There's loads of exchanges out there. I use one called Coinbase. Coinbase has a phone app and a web app. You simply deposit money into the app and you can then use that to buy and sell digital currency. The exchanges make their money by charging a percentage transaction fee when you buy or sell the digital currency. They also buy and sell it at a slightly different rate than they're charging you, which means they make a little bit of money on top as well. With most exchanges, you can sell your digital currency at any time and convert that back into cash. You can then withdraw that cash immediately with no further fees. One of the biggest misconceptions with digital currency is the idea that you have to buy an entire coin or token. You don't. So you can buy any amount of Bitcoin that you want. You don't have to have £30,000 or $40,000. If you've only got £100, you can buy £100 worth of Bitcoin. The majority of digital currency works in exactly the same way as traditional shares. So if you hold £100 worth of Bitcoin and the price of Bitcoin doubles, you make £200. If the price of Bitcoin halves, you lose £50. So what's the future for Bitcoin? The truth is no one really knows. However, the big financial firms have started getting involved in it, which is one of the reasons why it's been rising so much recently. Is this gonna be an indicator of where it goes in the future? Possibly not. However, people had written off Bitcoin in 2017 and look where we are now. There are also some financial commentators who think it could reach $100,000 in value in the future, but the truth is no one really knows. It could also crash in just as big a way. So there you go, that's my crash course in Bitcoin. I hope you learned something. If you wanna get involved, I would recommend doing further reading. I haven't touched on any of the technical stuff like blockchain. There's a ton of information about that out there. So I would recommend going out, finding out more information before you make any final decisions. I'm also gonna repeat my warning. This is just information. I am not a financial advisor. It is not advice. Do not use it as advice. It's just personal opinion and my experience from about a year and a half of using Bitcoin and Ethereum.